Hello! Welcome back to my channel. I feel like it's been so long since I filmed a vlog. Um, right now I'm making breakfast. By making, I mean heating up leftovers. We have a lot of things to do. By we, I mean I have a lot of things to do. But today I'm just subbing a bunch of classes. Figured I'd update you guys and uh, bring you guys along the ride. I've learned to do my eyeliner off camera or else I it, it will never happen if I do it on camera. I use the Revlon Colorstay Micro Easy Precision Liquid Liner. I've been very depressed recently. The thing is, seasonal depression, yada yada yada, but it's also Indian summer where I live, so it's hot as balls out with a huge heat wave. I'm getting sad and disgusting and like icky. Like I just want to be sad and, and like, you know, sit in my bed, but I can't because it's so freaking hot. This is such a first world problem, I know. I got my first Twitch paycheck the other day and I'm so proud of myself. I think I genuinely want to turn Twitch not into my career, but into a form of income because it does make me happy. There are some things that I want to do on the Twitch platform that I can't do right now because I'm too small. Or it's not that I can't do them, it's that they wouldn't be as successful. Like I want to do like subathons and I want to do like charity streams and, and such. I can't do that because I'm too small right now. But I want to turn Twitch kind of like into my own little community, if you will. If you've been here for the long ride, I've trialed and aired social media a shit ton. I've had my successes and I've had my fails with social media. I think Twitch is the only one that has like grown at a steady pace. Cause like YouTube is very like one video will do really good and the next one will do really bad. TikTok is not where I want to be on. <laughs> Same with Instagram, but like I think Twitch is like, I'm seeing a steady growth. Like it's, it's small, but it's not inconsistent and I am excited for what the future has to hold with Twitch. It's also really scary because Twitch is really mean. Twitch itself is not really mean. Twitch community is, is like 13 year old boys, you know? They're not nice and there's many times where I've cried after stream and unfortunately whenever I talk to some people about this the response I get unfortunately is just like well that's you knew that was gonna happen when you signed up for Twitch. You know? I've listened to Quarter J open book podcast and she's talked a lot about this too but it's like twitch used to be this place where it's like you were on your own little world and your own little planet and you were just vibing and then one day like the aliens came which being like you know the afkers and the throwers and the trolls and stuff and then they just like came into your planet and now you're just like well that sucks and they won't leave but they're not bothering you enough for you to like kick them out they're just kind of there I think a lot of my community is just like teenage and, and, and mid-twenties and such like figuring out their life and we're just having fun and talking and trying to like heal the inner child and then there's like a 13 year old who comes in and it's just like, you suck, kill you yourself, I never want to see you hop in the game again. You're just thinking back for a second because you don't really know what to do. If you feed into the attention that they want and respond, that's what they want. But if you don't, it's like you're not standing up for yourself. So you're just kind of sitting there. I talked to my sister this and it's like, we're not looking for people, but that doesn't mean that we don't want to receive love. I'm not actively like putting myself out there and going on dates 24 seven. But if someone came my way, I wasn't going to be like, no. I met a couple people. Okay, so one guy, literally we talked for like a good fucking while. Like a good fucking while. We had very serious talks and such about like, getting serious, yada, 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 yada. We get into this very small, minor fight, extremely minor, like, like super minor, like nothing, like, I wouldn't even consider it a fight. I was just saying like, need tonight to just cool off. I'm a little bit upset. I wake up the next morning, I'm blocked on every single social media platform. I don't know why, don't know what he's up to now. I'm, I'm such like a, I didn't get closure type of girl. So whenever it's something like, I hate getting blocked cause like, Bro, just tell me what I did wrong and then you can leave. Like, don't just like leave me out of the blue. I hate that shit so much. But it literally brought back PTSD from my first relationship. But anywho, very, very interesting. Really shows your maturity there, my friend. I did cry, let it be known. I cried for like two days. I, I cried at work, literally. I literally looked in the mirror at work. Cause I'm an ass teacher and I'm like, judge it, judge it, bitch. And the next person. This one was a little weird. This one's also very recent. So I still kind of like, I am in contact with him still. We're getting to know people. And I was like, so why do you like me? The response was super, like, I was like, what the fuck? Your personality, and you're pretty, and you're chill, and you're cool. I'm like, that's the response you give to, like, 
your boys, you know? Like, you don't give that to a girl you like. And I was like, you like me because I'm pretty and I'm chill. So if you saw someone else who was pretty and chill, would you start going out with them? He was like, no, no, no. But like, your, your personality. And I was like, what the fuck? We were on a phone call, so like, okay, I'm gonna head out, guy. I gotta go to work. Like five minutes later, he's like, can we talk? And I was like, sure. Me thinking he's gonna do a phone call because he also had to go to work. A couple hours later, I get a text message paragraph of him being like, I'm sorry for doing, like, not making you feel, not being able to tell you why I like you, da 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 da. And then goes, but I don't think we should be seeing each other more than platonically today, after today. And I was like, interesting. And the response was very like, you deserve better, so I'm leaving you, kind of response. To me, that's bullshit. That is such bullshit to me. Because if you think I deserve better, then be better. Yeah, this is just future reference. If they say shit like that, it's because they're too lazy to become the version of themselves that you deserve. Anyways, and my response to his whole ass paragraph, my friends thought this was based as fuck. And I'm really happy they do because I felt really, not bad, but I was just like, am I wrong for this? I said, okay. I told my friend, I was like, I really should have sent an eight ball. <laughs> the whole, I think you deserve better talk is such bullshit. Be better then. Become the better person. I think last time I did my makeup on my YouTube channel, I was doing extremely heavy makeup or medium makeup. And I'm here to announce that my makeup has actually gotten significantly lighter. And I'm really proud. It takes a lot, I will say. Like when I look in the mirror and I'm not like baked and not like weed baked, like makeup baked and, and you know, heavy foundation. I feel a little naked and I'm getting used to seeing my skin. If I saw myself like a year ago using five pumps of foundation on my face compared to just like a little dab of concealer here and there and e.l.f. halo glow, I think I would have sent her into a coma back then. Like back then if she saw how little makeup we're wearing and like how I don't cover my scars actually, she would have had a heart attack. She would have been like, there's a dot on your face. I did not think that I would get to a place where I didn't have to wear a bunch of makeup. Now, I don't know if I'll ever get to a place where I don't have to wear makeup. I can't see it in the future right now, unfortunately, because I'm so self-conscious. But this change, I'm really proud of. I didn't think I would ever get here. Then again, I stream on Twitch without makeup a lot of the times because my webcam is so blurry that I don't really give a shit. I think honestly, Twitch has helped me be more comfortable with myself because it's like, there's so many of you just watching me be a klutz and you guys are okay with that and you stay because of that so I've just been embracing my klutziness more and more as of recently and I'm really grateful for all of you that's the end of the girl talk episode <laughs> I do this every time I do a makeup we talk I convinced my sister to get boba with me so we're going on in well I was gonna scoot her there at first without her because I was gonna get it no matter what but I convinced her to drive me. Acquired the goods. Oh, where's the car? Four out of 10 boba, did not get. I don't have a combo ready. I don't have my lesson planned ready at all. I keep being like, I have a bunch of combos that I've used in the past, just do one of those, change yeah. And then all of a sudden I can't remember any of the combos that I did. I was told by my mentor that Teaching younger kids is not teaching them ballet. It's teaching them behavioral management in a dance environment. And that's something I've been kind of struggling to deal with. Also, ballet is not my forte, and I'm teaching ballet. So we're just really going through it this season, really winging it my way through June. And we'll see if I can keep my job. So, <laughs> we currently have some problems. Problem number one, <laughs> I missed my stop. And when I think about it now, I could have just, 
waited for the next train to just that was going in the opposite direction but i just panicked so i got off the bus <laughs> and i was like no worries like i can just scooter up the big hill and then my scooter died <laughs> so now i'm just walking up the four block hill um lugging you can't see lugging the scooter around We made it. I have to charge this thing before I kill myself. adult contemporary class that I was gonna teach got canceled because of low registration so I only have to teach four today I have to start teaching in like like 10 minutes I'm gonna enjoy my last couple of minutes of silence and then girl boss up It's all class I told you that got canceled. Turns out drop-ins came in, so now the class continues. You're gonna give me an inside attitude turn. Arms are gonna push down. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah! Forgive, but 
but I don't feel strong. I'm gonna end this video here because I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> but leave a comment down below what you want to see more of. I'm kind of toggling between like lifestyle content and also gaming content. Sure. Yeah, let me know what more you want to see. Besides that, um, subscribe and leave a like or or something. Whatever YouTubers usually say. Um, all my socials are linked down below. And yeah, have an amazing day. Bye.